What's up everybody? Welcome to Budapest. It's race day here and it's gonna be so damn exciting. The big question, can Max Verstappen convert the amazing qualifying into a race win? The fans are ready for it anyways. Dutch fans are so awesome here, so I'm gonna go undercover now. I'm gonna go say hi to some of them. So for now it's working, looking good. Straight through the fan zone. Mr. Ho Mr. Hollywood right there, following me. You're cheering for Max Verstappen today? What? You're cheering for Max Verstappen? I don't know, maybe say. Okay, so we're right in the damn middle here now. How's it going everybody? I need a favor. When, when I turn around and I say who's gonna win today, massive Max yeah. Verstappen, like massive. Yeah. Everybody, okay? Everybody, are you ready? Yeah. yeah. Okay, ready? Yeah. Who's gonna win today? So I've lost my cap to the little kid on the grandstand there. So now I'm not undercover anymore, so now we need to run. Let's go. Well, that, that was quite cool, no? Unbelievable. First guy I started realizing, oh, Nico, next guy. He said, is that Nico Hosman? Nico Hosman? And then suddenly the whole crowd just goes mental. Thank you for taking a small, a small uh, time. Um, how, how has life changed since you've been uh, one of the stars from the Formula One Netflix show? Uh, uh, life for me hasn't changed. Uh, it's just uh, more people recognize you, you know. A lot I, of autographs. Yeah, I wouldn't say a lot, not as many as you as a world champion, but some autographs, you know, sometimes, you know. But uh, in, the, in, in the strangest places, people recognize you, where you think there's nothing to do with Formula One, you go to a restaurant and, oh, you're the Netflix guy. No, I'm not the Netflix guy. <laughs> I'm working Formula One, you know, so it's quite uh, entertaining sometimes. So we're not, we're not envious at the moment of your role as a team boss, because you have two huge challenges. One, your drivers keep crashing in every single race. And why the hell would drivers, like, why, why would teammates crash? I would never crash with my teammates, so I wouldn't, I don't understand that. <laughs> I don't know about that. I was shown some videos lately. Uh, it, uh, I see it different, you know. So, uh, but I've got more than two challenges, by the way. I know. I'm coming to the next one. But yeah, how, how are you dealing with the two drivers crashing? Like, what's the solution? What are you implementing? Uh, I'm implementing now. We tell them what to do. I mean, I, I, I full on. Yeah, full on. Saying, you know, you go now and you uh, and, and they were pretty happy with it because I think they felt uncomfortable or almost afraid if they got together again because uh, I, I guess they they couldn't figure out when I told them you make sure that you don't crash into each other but they didn't I, I think drivers cannot figure out because they always want to be right so they were both right all the time nobody was wrong so I said we now see it from the pit road who is going uh, 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 faster gets gets the go ahead and the other one will be told so let's see how it works but you know how this thing is once you've got something in place it, not, it doesn't happen again you know so hopefully but if it happens again hopefully it works okay so next step I can recommend Toto Wolf he did a for us there was like it could have gone beyond seven figure penalties <laughs> so <laughs> clearly we <laughs> so uh, that could be the next step that I guess. Our oh, drivers doesn't make this much money. It was <laughs> 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 even more painful. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. All yeah. of us, we wish you all the best. Thank you for taking uh, a bit of time for us, and all the best for today. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. So Mick Schumacher won in Formula 2, first race win, that's going to be a very important breakthrough for him. Great to watch, I think everybody's happy for him and we're going to have him in the interview now to get his thoughts in two seconds. Take you around the car quickly, just to explain you a little bit. So first of all, 
front wing. That's where the huge Ferrari problem is at the moment. And it's on the outer edges. It's on the outer edge there, because they've developed the front wing way too shallow on that outer edge. So they're not getting enough downforce on the front end of the car. And so what they do is, or what you're going to say to me is, okay, so why don't they just make the front wing up higher, yeah? But they can't do that because the front wing determines the airflow all the way to the back of the car. So if you suddenly put the front wing in a different position than how it's been designed to use, you're destroying all the airflow all the way to the back of the car and the whole rear end doesn't work anymore. And that's exactly Sebastian Vettel's problem at the moment. So they're trying to push the front wing up as much as they can to get some more downforce on that front end. And the problem is then the rear is starting to get some air damage and you're starting to get some instabilities oversteer and Vettel hates that, he hates instability and Leclerc can just manage that a bit better so that's one of the main problems of Vettel at the moment so we can take a look at the car here the Epic diffuser as well, have a look that's where most of the downforce on the car, most of the grip comes from the diffuser here because the car, the, the airflow goes like really tight on the ground under the car and then when it gets to the back the air gets accelerated because the back opens up, the diffuser gets bigger, so the air gets accelerated out. And I'll do you a quick B-roll. I've got a I found a very special guest here in the paddock today. Joe Ramirez, who was team manager of McLaren when Senna and Prost were racing there. Can you give us a quick rundown, like where was Senna better, where was Prost better in your view? I think that the basic difference between them, when, when Prost Alain had a, a perfect car, he was unbeatable, not Senna couldn't touch him. So how often you have a car that you are 100% like? While Senna used to improvise, if the car wasn't good, he changed his driving to use the car, uh, at the end end up to be a little bit quicker. But it was a fantastic time at the time. I don't know whether if both of them knew how much they pushed the team to get up the top. Just like in your times with, with uh, Hamilton. Uh, no, thank you. I'm, I'm very honored for the comparison, but I, really, I, think, I think it's a different, uh, different story. But anyways. I'm always kind of uh, talking myself in the back to be around <laughs> at the time. That was brilliant, brilliant. Uh, okay, well, thank you very much. Have a nice uh, weekend. Thank you. Great thank to see you, you Nick. It's late, race start is coming up very soon. Mercedes just took a huge gamble and pitted Lewis to put him on some new tires to try and get him back, back into uh, Verstappen at the end of the race. And at the moment it seems to be working, so we're, we're going to have an epic battle again in the last couple of races. What an epic race once more, a great time in F1 at the moment, so much fun to, to follow. Um, uh, heartbreaking really for Max, I think, because he would have deserved the win so much, but he did an epic job. But, but just Hamilton, I mean, the pace he had in the race was phenomenal. Just put so much pressure onto Red Bull, also strategy-wise then, and then just nailed it. Huh? Strategy got him, but there's nothing that Red Bull or Max could have done better. They did the best possible job, and it's just the pace that made the difference. So congrats, Lewis, again, seventh win, I think, here in Hungary, which is absolutely incredible. Uh, behind there, I think Vettel did quite a good job as well in the Ferrari, but they were almost one second a lap slower. Can you believe that? Like, Ferrari nowhere. Unbelievable how they've dropped back and the gimbal master Martin. So make sure you subscribe subscribe and hit the notification button because <laughs> So you don't miss any videos coming in the future. He's single oh,